In today's gospel, Jesus starts by asking a question of his disciples. What is your opinion? If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray, will he not leave the ninety-nine in the hills and go in search of the stray? Now, you got to think the first time that Jesus asked that question and told the story that most of his listeners probably said, um, you probably stay with the ninety-nine and not go looking after the one lost sheep. Um, you don't want to lose all 99 sheep. So you have some collateral damage, some acceptable losses. That one lost sheep, well, maybe sh that sheep should have stayed with the group. We begin to realize some of what Jesus is up to, I think, if we think of this saying as a bit like the kind of the topsy-turvy logic of the last being first and the first being last, or the logic of the parable where those who started working at 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. at the, the 11th hour get paid just as much as the people who worked hard all day. That, that Jesus is talking about a different way in which God is able to love and look after all of us. So it helps if you want to be a good shepherd, if you want to be this kind of shepherd who can go after the lost sheep, it kind of helps to be God. It helps to be able to pay attention to each of us individually, lovingly, uh, without losing track of the rest of us. But there might be something more in, in that as well, especially this time of the year, especially this time of this year, of 2021. Uh, it's getting dark again. It's another dark winter on the way. I've, I've been loving walking around lately as people's Christmas lights have started blinking on house after house, here after here. And, and when we're feeling dark, when we're feeling lost, even when we're not, but maybe we think we're staying there with the group, but have actually gone wandering off, maybe inside of ourselves. Maybe we've stayed in place and still wandered off. We can take a great deal of comfort, the comfort of our first reading from Isaiah, comforting God's people. Some comfort in the idea that Jesus, the good shepherd, is out there looking for us, even when we can't see it, even when we can't know it. If you imagine those Christmas lights, if you imagine the candles of Advent, if you imagine Jesus with a candle out there, or, or better today, maybe with a flashlight, that, that God's out looking for you. God's out looking for me. God would rejoice to find us again and to let us be found. So in this time of Advent, when we're waiting for Christ to come, Christ to return, take some comfort today, perhaps, that as dark as it might seem, uh, as, as alone as you might seem, that Jesus is out there looking for you. And, and for me, the comfort there is that not only is Jesus out there looking for me, uh, but he's probably better at finding me than I am at finding my own way home. And then, once we've been brought back, once Jesus can rejoice over the little ones that we are, then he's going to give us a flashlight. Then he's going to give us a candle. Then he's going to ask us to keep doing the same thing of with our limited abilities, with our good intentions, to, to go out and keep trying to collect sheep, uh, to keep trying to be love, be light, be comfort for all the people in our world.